Hi, I'm Allison Zamuda, and I'm so pleased to welcome Kimberly Shepard back to our conversation. And Kimberly, one of the exciting parts of your school is the opportunity of regular teacher collaboration after students go back to their home school. Can you talk a little bit about what that structure looks like and what you've seen emerge because of that um, collaboration time? Absolutely. So our students, when they leave to go back to that home school, our teachers have a, a unique block period of time in the afternoon that they are all on planning together. So the ability to collaborate has just been uh, invaluable. What I would say is the teachers, we're seeing the paired courses that we have. Uh, so it is a little bit forced in that sense, but the teachers have the opportunity to, to work together. Uh, so we've created an authentic lesson plan for them that allows for both teachers to put uh, their standards, uh, their activities, their lessons in, and then any time that they're going to collaborate together and work together as two classes. Uh, so that's been great to see the, the collaboration between the two. But I think the thing that we've noticed uh, even more so is that we're seeing a lot of teachers and, and I, I feel like they almost felt like they were trying to have to hide that they were collaborating with others. And when we would find out about it, we were like, oh, that's fantastic. We were so excited. Uh, so then it became this organic pairing. So we're even considering next semester uh, or next fall, not potentially pairing those classes, uh, enforcing that, but giving the opportunity for more of an organic collaboration. Uh, still requiring that collaboration to some extent, but, but allowing them to kind of choose and find the areas that would work best between their standards. Uh, so that's been really exciting to see the teachers just working together and finding areas of their courses that they didn't even realize uh, would be able to connect. So it's interesting because you're describing it as this alignment around similar course content. So moments where they see that dynamic interplay and um, starting to make that interplay more apparent to students, it not only demonstrates um, that kind of application, that interplay, but also starting to see how it changes the teacher's perception. So if you can talk, uh, maybe there's an example or something that you can sort of reflect on, are there certain skills or perspectives that because teachers are working so closely together that have emerged in that body of teacher practice? I would just say overall the openness, uh, the, mm. the excitement we've seen. Initially, some of the, the courses didn't necessarily see the, the direct pairing. And I understood because, I mean, even for example, and these teachers were able to, to quickly catch on to this one, but, but between chemistry and cosmetology, you know that those standards don't directly align, but at the same time, there are some connections between those two classes. For example, the chemicals used in perming. And so the teachers quickly found ways that they could allow their students to have that opportunity. So it's not that they're pairing every single day, but they, they rec quickly recognized that uh, here's my standards and the connections between another course's standards. So the, the identification of their own standards has been much deeper and what they're actually teaching and how they can go about that. We've seen a much more powerful uh, connection between those. Fantastic. And if you'd like to get more information about this, you can go ahead and reach out to Kimberly directly. Her contact information is down below. And looking forward to having Kimberly join us for another installment. See you soon.